Alright, so I already talked about toll-like receptors and how they're activated. Now I'm going to actually talk about these signaling cascades that go through toll-like receptors and the associated proteins, adapter proteins that are involved. So here we have three toll-like receptors, three different combinations. So you have toll-like receptor 4, toll-like receptor 4, toll-like receptor 2 and 1, toll-like receptor 5 and 5. Those are just examples. There's many more, 7 and 7, 9 and 9, 3 and 3. Um, there's two and six, like there could be many, many combinations. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous video is that there's different um, TLRs that are on the outside surface and then there's also ones that are on the inside surface. So if I draw a little mini guy right here, you might have a TLR like this. Once again, I apologize for my bad drawing, but this one on the inside will recognize nucleic acid sequences, right? TLLs, TL, TLRs on the surface will recognize pathogens or surface structures on pathogens on the cell surface, whereas the inside will recognize uh, viral proteins, viral DNA, uh, viral uh, single-stranded, double-stranded RNA, um, and stuff like that. So signaling through toll-like receptors is very complicated. It's really hard to get a grasp on it, so I'm going to try the best I can to simplify this as much as possible. Here we have what are called adapter proteins, right? So this yellow one, we're going to call this one TRAP, TRAP. And this purple one is MyD88, MyD88. This D should be capitalized. Sorry about that. Switch this up. MyD88, MyD88. Okay, so MyD88 TRAP, TRAM, and TRAF are all adapter proteins. Now, how do they work? So once again, I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. TRAP, what does it do? It promotes MyD88 my recruitment to the cell surface toll-like receptors for toll-like receptor 2, 1, toll-like receptor 2, 6, and 4, okay? So uh, how do I write this? Promotes. my d88 2 tlr 2 1 2 6 and 4 okay so here is your t wrap tram promotes trif okay so tram here promotes trif this is trif yeah, I'll do this in a different color. Um, TRIF recruitment to endosomal TL TLR3 and TLO4. So here's your endosomal one. So put three and four. TRAM recruits TRIF two, three, and four. Okay. Now, my D88, draw this down here in uh, red. My D88 dependent TLR signaling activates mitogen activated protein kinase or MAPK increased uh, pathways and interferon regulatory factors IRF increased and um, NFKB. TRIF-dependent TLR signaling activates MAPKs, IRFs, to induce, so here I'll do this TRAM in purple again, TRAM takes this and induces um, interferon alpha and beta expression. And that is it for toll-like receptors and how they're activated. Um, for another little quick info session, uh, toll-like receptors are involved in dendritic cell maturation. So immature dendritic cells express most toll-like receptors. Um, toll-like receptors are the direct inducers of dendritic cell maturation. So they include the expression of CD80, CD86, and CD40 upregulation. Um, and upregulation of MHC class 2 and production of interleukin 12. Dendritic cells can also be induced to mature indirectly in response to tumor necrosis factor and interleukin 1. 
what mature dendritic cells do is they upregulate CCR7. CCR7, which just means chemokine receptor, and then they start going to the lymph node. Now remember what they do in the lymph node is they present cells, or they present antigen to B cells and T cells. So that is it for toll-like receptors. Once again, very complicated. I encourage you to look up simple drawings of the different toll-like receptors and how they're activated, but it is simple to think. MyDD8 and TRAP are located, so TRAP promotes MyDD8 uh, migration to toll-like receptors 2, 1, 2, 6, and 4. TRAM and TRAF are associated, so you can think of them as two frat boys. TRAM and TRAF, they will go and they associate with the intracellular or endosomal toll-like toll receptor 3 and 4. What MyD88 does once TRAP activates it to these T-like uh, toll-like receptors is it increases MAPK, IRF, and NFKB expression. Now what about TRAM? TRAM induces interferon alpha and beta expression from activating these two pathways here. So it, once again, it is important. And then for further information on toll-like receptors and dendritic cell maturation, uh, once again, I encourage you to look up um, some sort of uh, maybe other videos or, or look in your textbook. I'm not going to do a video on it because um, it's not something that I know too much about, but I do know that they are direct inducers of dendritic cell maturation.